Hey Pisces, welcome to Tarot to Tarot. I'm EJ. If the reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope everybody's having a good end of the weekend. This is a short week for most of us. If you're working, Thursday is Thanksgiving. And this reading for Pisces is from today through the 24th. I'm trying to get everybody caught up to Saturday of next week. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information can be found below. I'm going to shuffle the cards one more time. I'm kind of sensitive to Pisces. That's my moon sign where my emotions are. So I'm probably a more uh, emotional Taurus because of that. So usually when I hear or read a Pisces reading, it usually resonates with me at some level. So see what we got going on for this week. Couple of cards. And I don't do reversals. I read straight up. Let's see what we got for Pisces. See what we got going on. So your first card is a chariot. Your second card is a knight of cups. Your third card, six of pentacles. Fourth card, ten of pentacles. Fifth card, six of wands. And your bottom energy, which is your overall energy, is the hierophant. So let's see what we got for Pisces this week. Pisces, it looks like you've got somebody coming to you. And I want to say they're going to be bringing some information. Somebody's going to be bringing you some information. I'm just looking at where my guys are. So, in some way, it's going to bring recognition to you. Whatever this person is bringing to you. And I'm inclined to say it is romantic. Whoever this person is, they're going to, they're going to step your game up times ten. Um... And, I, and I'm saying that, too, because I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So we know Pentacles is your coin. Um, yeah, you, this is a step up. Whoever this is coming to you is a step up. And it's not just going to be a, ooh, hey, how you doing type of thing. They're going to be coming with something, and you're going to realize there's a connection there with that person. Um, I would be mindful of not doing something because you're afraid to do it. I would definitely just be mindful of that. I don't know why that's coming to me the way that it is. I'm looking at the chariot, which we know it's energy that moves. But, um, and you're going to be out of your element a little bit. Because as I look at the cards for Pisces, there's no water here. Um, this is, there's a little bit with the chariot and a little bit with the knight of cups, but not, not a lot. Not a, not a lot of water. So this is going to be more, a more grounded energy. Um, probably, whoever this person is, is probably not the kind of energy you're used to because it's a very stable on the earth type thing. So it may be an earth sign. Uh, it could be any sign, but I'm just looking at the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, somebody that just has their butt on the ground. And just seriously grounded about their business. Um, with your overall energy being the higher fit, 
I can kind of get the feeling this is going to have something to do with tradition. So with it being Thanksgiving this week, if you celebrate that type of um, holiday, wherever you are, it, 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 but particularly here in America, um, Thursday is Thanksgiving. And so that usually means dinner, going to friends, going to family, hanging out, going out, whatever the case may be. Um, and, and that energy is good because tradition ground, grounds us. It makes us stable. You know, when you have family, um, when you have uh, friends that support you, that, that stability. And so, and again, we're looking at the cards, I'm looking at a lot of earth, not a lot of water. Um, be kind to this person, whoever it is, because they, it seems like they might be a little shy um, they have they have a family connection with you somehow and I'm looking at the ten of pentacles and they have a family connection to you somehow so I don't know if this is it could be the family doctor it might be the dude at the grocery store or the girl um, it, it could be a variety of things but this person is not unknown to your family which is a good thing um, this is what I'll say for this reading. I would, as, as emotional creatures, Pisces, um, try not to go too much with how you're feeling and just kind of go more with, could, could I do this? Open your mind up to the possibilities. Um, if you get frightened and run away from this, you're going to miss something good. So I'm telling you, if you do what you usually do and, and just kind of trying to be there but not there, that's not going to work. You're going to have to um, step up and make yourself known. This person is interested in you, all kind of interested, but if you don't show them that you are interested, they're going to, they're just going to walk away. That's what that's going to be about. So you've got to get into a grounded energy and kind of just sit still for a minute and watch. And if you watch, you'll see it. And this is not going to resonate with everybody. I, I, I know this is real fine-tuned, the, the messages that I'm getting from spirit. So there are only a few particular people that really need to know this. But for the rest of Pisces, it's the same thing, you know. Try to be grounded this week. Uh, pay attention to the people that you have around you. Um, there may be some interesting opportunities that come out of whatever goes on this week. Um, and don't get emotionally, don't get stuck on one thing or the other. Just kind of roll with it. Just roll with it. Yeah. And, and with your overall energy being the higher fence, that's also about expanding your knowledge. So be open to learning something new. As I promise you, it's going to be one of the things where you're going to be like, oh, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's probably where you're going to make a connection. If you're trying to make a romantic connection with someone, that's probably going to be the way that it happens. Other than that, the rest of the week is what it is. It's nothing, no earth-shattering, oh my God moments, no tower moments, no craziness. Um, but you are around some people this week. It looks like you're around some good people this week. Open your mind up. If you're not looking for a relationship, just open your mind up and see what you hear. You know, that might help you in the future. You may not know it now, but it might help you in the future. So be open to the new people that are coming to you. Um, other than that, Pisces, have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Have a good Thanksgiving holiday if you're, if you're celebrating. If you're not, have a wonderful week. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.